Hey guys, have you ever thought that you can build a fully working soldering iron at home using just a piece of wood, some wire, and a simple power source? Sounds crazy, right? But the coolest part is, it actually works. What you're looking at here is a homemade soldering iron. At first glance, it looks super simple. A wooden handle, a copper tip at the front, and wires coming out at the back. But let's take a closer look inside and see why this thing performs just like a professional tool. The handle is made out of a small wooden block. It's lightweight, easy to hold, techie hand to kiff, and most importantly, it works as a natural heat insulator. Even when the tip is red hot, the handle stays cool and safe in your hand. The business end is a copper tip made from thick wire locked in place with plaster that keeps it secure and prevents the heat from burning the wood. And here's the heart of the design, a necrome wire coil wrapped around the copper tip. Necrome is the same alloy used in heating elements. When electricity runs through it, it heats up instantly, transferring that heat straight into the soldering tip. To keep things safe and efficient, the tip is covered with fiberglass insulation that holds the heat where it belongs and prevents any short circuits. Everything is built to be simple, but also reliable. Now for the power. This iron runs off a regular 12 volt, one amp power supply, but you can also hook it up to a battery pack. That means you can use it not only at your desk and like, but also off grid, outdoors, or in emergency situations where there's no electricity or you'd have a store bought iron handy. And the best part, it really works. This homemade soldering iron melts solder, repairs electronics, and handles small DIY projects, just like a pro tool. Sure, it's not a full soldering station, but as a compact DIY made iron, it's surprisingly effective. And think about it, this entire build only takes a bit of copper wire, some nichrome, a piece of wood, and a little imagination. That's it, and you've got a working tool in your hand. So here it is, a simple, reliable, homemade soldering iron. If you'd like to learn exactly how to build one yourself, check out my full step-by-step -step tutorial video. The link is in the description. And if you'd rather skip the DIY and just grab a ready-to-use soldering iron, I've added some great options in the featured product section and down in the description as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stick around because I've got plenty more awesome DIY tools coming up.